I got it out of the way. Today we're gonna try to get some wins and not meme so much, alright? Transform 100 gold or choose your rare card. Let's go for 100 gold. Let's choose 100 gold. I guess we get two elites though? Oof. So if, no, no, I don't want to skip to watch her. I, I enjoy these classes a lot. I like these classes a lot. I, I just kind of, you know, meme the picks a little bit. The problem with this guy is that I have to f fight go for the 100 gold. I have to fight early elites. And... I mean, there's where... Yeah, this is tough. That was really fun, guys. I won't meme anymore, guys. But it just goes to show you, in such a 20, you can't have like 5,000 curses, pressure strikes ever so all this crap. You know, you can't have, you need a block as well. Oh, this is gonna hurt. You guys think silence lame? Why? Why do you think silence lame? I think we have to do a strike here, right? Supposed to take two damage here? Is that is that the optimal play? I feel like it is. This, this fight is just Jaw one for one. Never again. Can you believe it? Can you believe it? Jaw worm. Bouncing flash. Let's go. Hey. So, you want to give up a strike? Absolutely. Ah, uh, so that sucks. We got all our block in turn one, so if I play Bouncing Flask, it's not going to have block attached to it. At least not good block. Um, this is 9 plus 6. 15. 15 plus 8. 23. I'm one damage off. I know I always win with this stuff, but I mean, I'm playing to win, right? So there's, there's still some interesting things that happen with the silent. It's not like it's just, I know it's always intangible and poison and stuff like that. And that's like the best way to win with the silent, but we, we try to keep it interesting in between. There's still a lot of adversity. Silent is not always free. Just the other day, I won the hard fight off of 50-50, right? So we were, we were butt was clenched the whole time. So Bane is sometimes good with the poison we have, but I like backstab more, I feel like. It gets out of my deck, more front loaded. Well, the plants are very good. So RP to these fruits. We're not gonna have a fruit diet. That sucks. Duplication pot is pretty good for doubling the poison if we want to. Dolly's mirror is not relevant, so RP to that. It's probably just Wally plans. Remove another strike. And now we need a little bit more damage. I could take a blur. A blur is like not that good right now. Most other classes do the same thing as well. Ironclad usually always gets like some form of strength scaling, gets the good cards, it gets some kind of sustain. I mean, uh, we play this game so much, so you're gonna see a lot of the same things. You guys want to see shift deck? So if you guys, so if you guys really want to see meme decks, what I could do is what they call climbing the spire. So we go from the ascension one up, and ascension one up to ascension seventeen, you can do whatever the fuck you want. You can play the stupidest decks. If you guys want to see some stupid decks, we do ascension one to ascension eighteen, where the game is so easy, you can do whatever you want. But, but I mean, I, I still like to have the challenge of Ascension 20 and still add some of my own flair to it. Because the game is not that as fun when it's easy. You ready for the meat and bone ice cream diet? Absolutely. This is Shiniv, Kunai, Shurik and stuff, but it just feels not that great for the time you're... Yeah, I mean, Shivs, they can, they can work, but you don't want to like, fully commit. I think we buy a DZP spot here. Yeah, I feel like tryharding as well. We're going to go for a lot of elites. So we're using duplication pot to get that double bouncing flask and we'll be able to get some elites here. Sounds good. Sounds good, mates. Don't drop potions for me, that's all. Glass knife. That's some good front loaded. I'll, I'll upgrade that. That's some decent front loaded. Absolutely. Now, Gremlin up is not as scary. This fight, I think we're going to do double bouncing flask. Which means I probably wanted to upgrade Bouncing Flask, but Glass Knife is still really good for Gremlin Up. 
This feels like the most appropriate time to do bouncing flash double. Like this is a good use of the potion. Fight should be free. Feels like a good good turn out here. Not bad. All right, fight's over. That was a really good fight for us. That elite was very good for us, guys. Gambling chip is fantastic. Cloak and dagger does some damage and gives me some block. Gambling chip is very good. So I would take this gold and lose his health if there was a shot. But here's the thing. I'm fighting two elites, so I think I'd rather value my life here. Now, 75 gold is a lot, but I can drop 44 and get the second elite without having to lose a life here. Now, unless you want to take the gold and pivot to the left. Now, there's a world where we take the gold, pivot to the left, because the gold now means the shop is a little bit better. I like a lot of kind of music. I like soulful music, jazz, hip-hop, indie, alternative. I like a lot of music, man. I'm an eclectic dude. So if I want to go for the elites, I'm losing the gold here. If I want to maybe take advantage of the gold here, I'll go to the shop. And the shop basically gives us remove more strikes. But I think I'm going to go for lose the gold and get double elites here. Although, Otori's, wow. These relics are sexy. I should have discarded a glass knife there. I should have discarded a glass knife there. I, I, I wasn't planning to use it there. Tori's very good in this fight. Yeah, there's a world where you can do both. You can do the gold and everything else, yep. Tori's gonna be really huge here. Next thing we need is Ori Calcum. But Tori's huge. Now, now Gremlin Knob is something we want to... If it's not Gremlin Knob... Well, it depends how much damage you take in this fight. If we don't take a lot of damage in this fight, what I'm going to do is... Um, upgrade Bouncing Flasks. The thing is, Gremlin Knob Bouncing Flasks is not that good. But it helps if I get a second log of Volden. Gremlin Knob is a little bit scary. Oh, Tori is just mitigating so much damage here. Like, I don't know if we're doing the math. Incredible how much it's mitigating right now. What do you got? What's your story right now, Ventus? Share it. Share the news. Might as well... I can save one life. I think it's better to do defend here. Because for one life, I get to hold it the defend for next turn and potentially only take one damage next turn as well, right? Where if I do double defend, I may not guarantee to get defense there. And boom, imagine if I didn't hold this defense. Don't you love getting validated, guys? Don't you love taking one damage and making the right play? Um, neutral neutralize? Yeah, I'll do this. Why is Spyro dead? I don't know, man. I don't know what's going on with Spyro, but... What happened? Mm -hmm. Alright, that was not a bad fight. We have 35 life. If we're going for Grail and Knob. 35 life. Old coin, okay. Whoa, Catalyst. Jesus Christ. Oh my god. Cat oh my god. Okay, we'll take the Catalyst. Alright, so old coin makes the shop on the left pretty relevant. Uh, if I go Gremlin Knob, I have a trouble. I, have, I guess we have Gremlin Chips so we can always get a better hand. Do we like the Bouncy Flash more than Callus upgrade? Very good act one, dude. 
Very good act one. Very good hallway fight. Flying knee for a little bit more common attack damage and some more uh, energy sometimes. What about outmaneuver, guys? I like messing around with outmaneuver for bouncing flask. I don't think we need any of these cards. Alright, we got Lag of Woolen. So we want to look for Callus right away, right? Bouncy Flask Callus. Or what if we want to, like, just do Wally Plants instead? Because Wally Plants is pretty good for this fight. I guess we do Callus right away, right? I guess it works out like this anyways. Alright. We don't get the weaken though, so we take more damage than I want to take. Um Plate Armor doesn't even prevent me it doesn't give me Tori value. But I might as well use a potion because it, I, might, I recently just got a potion, so my potion chance is a little bit lower. But maybe plate armor is good for the guardian. Do I think I need to play armor for guardian? I could save four damage now, maybe four damage next turn. Or like, I could probably save a total of like seven life with this. Whereas, I feel like it's the right move just to use it. But I'm, I could see myself needing it for the guardian. Although the guardian with Tori, that fight's pretty ridiculously easy, right? Yeah. So I'll do this. The Guardian fight is pretty easy. So in total we have... Save some life. Not bad. Works out. Save seven life. Ashiroshka. And Venom. And Venom is just some, uh, some scaling. If you, It's an upgrade target, right? We're probably going to want Dagger Spray for Act 2. We're going to need the AoE. So I, I think I'm taking Dagger Spray for Act 2 here. And Venom is nice, but Dagger Spray for Act 2 seems a little bit better. This guy's like dead next turn. Gamblingship is so good, man. Gamblingship just is... Oof. When you have Glass Knight Plus in your deck, Gamblingship is... Amazing. Answer is amazing always. Who am I kidding? We take this for like Rune of Pyramids uh, potential insurance. Eh, not that great. Sometimes it's okay for like opening hand with Gambling Chip. You can do Concentrate, get play more expensive cards. Concentrate is kind of a, a generally good card, but there's a lot of misses with it. You can hold on to it while you plans. It doesn't really make a lot of sense right now, but there's a lot of value for this later on. Um, Master Stab for more damage. I don't think we need it here. I'm going to upgrade the weaken because I think the weaken is the most important thing to get the most value out of Tori. Aaron tried to get the middle card. Ah. Uh, I missed it. Alright, uh, so we got... This is kind of bad because... We didn't get the poison. I want to get Kalash right away, but I also want to block next turn. But Kalash is pretty important to me, so I'm going to do this. Does it still give you the cowardice in victory? Does it do that? Uh, I want to hold on to block, but I, I want to play this. I, I want to play this, so important. We can, I don't take any damage from this attack anyways. At least not significant damage.
Alright, the fight's over. Gaslamp is good. Gaslamp is great for on for Act 2 as well. I'm glad. Alright, so we got bullet time. Now, let me explain why bullet time is kind of good. Because we have gambling chip. So there's a world where we just gamble chip our whole hand. We get a big bullet time opening hand. Right? Bullet time is also energy insurance. And we do have things like bouncing flash that we want to play. And nightmare comes on the table. All the other expensive cards that come on the table. I know Aaron Hill... Aaron, you're doing this to me, aren't you? You're just picking middle card with no care in the world. You're just a rebel with a cause, huh? Bullet time ship is huge. Here, we're going to say that Aaron... I'm going to re refund him, but we're also going to say that Aaron picked left card. Also, Lage, if you're ever here, we added that 1v1, man. Hover Kite, we get the energy on the first turn, for sure. Copper Tripper might be okay because we have Tori, but it's still kind of risky. And then we can do Pandora's Box, get rid of all the strikes and defense. And then we don't have block cards in our deck, but we have Tori. And the two block cards we have is the Cloak and Dagger, Survivor, Neutralize. Do we like Pandora's Box better? Hovering Kite, we do have Survivor and Gambling Chip. Pandora's Box just gets rid of all this stuff. My the worst cards in my deck, and we can we can get by with Tori, and our poison. I think Pandora's is the play. Pandora's is so strong; it takes it gets rid of all my bad cards, and we have bullet time to play all the random crap we're gonna get. Alchemize, adrenaline, deflect. We got Finisher, Accuracy, Skewer. We got a lot of attack-based stuff. <laughs> Alright, we have a lot of gold. So let's go to this shop. Um, get two campfires, two elites. Is there something better we can do? Midway shop, one elite. We can get Sparkle out of the way. I mean, our deck's pretty strong. That We can probably go for the Sparkle now, right? Get it out of the way. And we can go for Sparkle now into mid late shop into another elite sparkle in act two is sometimes the worst but we don't really want to force our hand in act three right it's bad pandora's yeah we could just take covering cut because we have gamblership and stuff go ahead, go ahead, bear. how you doing buddy i don't want to force my hand in act three i think we can definitely manage this sparkle we have we have a good deck Yeah, let's go that way. So we got Alchemize. That's pretty good. We'll, we'll use the, the Explosive Pot. Blade is pretty good for this fight as well. It's actually just a pretty decent hand. I guess the Callus is the, the worst one. So we have things like... Knock this guy down. I want to play Wally Plains, but I also want to play Akamas here. We don't have consistent block. Yeah, we're, we're, we're going to have to kill things fast, basically. We're going to kill things fast, which we can't do. Which we can do. Okay, so we have escape plan, which doesn't actually have that many skill targets. So I mean, escape plan has like survivor, bouncing flash, catalyst, cloak and dagger, alchemize, blade dance, deflect, adrenaline. I mean, escape plan is just okay here. I feel like, but Bane is upgraded, and with even more damage orientation, and their only poison is bouncing flash. So Bane sometimes is a miss. I think it's just escape plan or predator here. Predator means bullet time is better. So with Predator, we draw more cards, and then we can play bullet time more often and do some big things with Finisher, right? Predator means bigger hands and bigger finishers. 
So I'm leaning towards Predator because also with Predator, with Bullet Time, we can play more expensive stuff. And I think we like Predator more. But the Escape Plan was also quite close as well. Ooh, this is really good. What do we got? Boom, we got validated. We have Predator now. But now the Sparkle is a little bit scary. But here's the thing. Our turn one's very important. I'm going to take Mutagenic Strength. Now, there's a world where you transform the bad cards here. Let's say we didn't like... Let's say we didn't like Accuracy and... Like, we didn't really like Accuracy's finisher. We can, we can transform this. But Mutagenic Strength is really good because we have Gambling Ship for opening hand. And now we got to ask ourselves, do we still have the strength to do this Sparkle? Because after that event. I mean, our opening hand is pretty damn good. We have Blessing of the Forge. So, what punishes us? I think we definitely destroy the Slavers. I'm just going to transform more back cards for more back cards, whereas the main training strength is actually pretty relevant, considering we have a pretty big opening hand. This slavery feels fine, because we have like decent damage. We, we don't have to block for it, but we have like Bouncing Flash Catalyst. I guess Max HP Book of Stabbing is really rough. That's the hardest one for us. We like we have time with Gremlin Leader, and we have Double Dagger Spray to manage the minions of Gremlin Leader. The Book of Stabbing is pretty rough. We have Tori with Weaken though. Necro works obscure. Yep. Just take five bites. Just take five bites. Just add five strikes to the deck. Oh, yeah, we've got a shop. Very nice. All right. So Anchor's very good because we have Gambling Chip and we want to be aggressive with our Gambling Chip. So Anchor's very good. And so is Lantern. Lantern's a little less good because we might get bullets on opening hand with Gambling Chip, right? But Anchor is basically pure money gas. Absolutely. Noxious Dreams is very good as well. Uh, I think I like Ori as well. This is a very good shop. What would we remove? So th probably the worst card from me right now is Accuracy. I don't like Accuracy. Like, yeah, we have Blade Dance, Cloak Dagger. Accuracy is garbage. Let's get it out of the deck, right? Skewer and Predator work with the um, Necronomicon. That's fine. With, with Lantern, the thing is, I, I need to upgrade Bullet Time for that to be a thing. Because I only have three energy. Anchor's always the play here. I think we do Aura Re instead of Lantern. Because, like, so Lantern is obviously good if you don't get Bullet Time. Let's say we upgrade Bullet Time, we can play Predator and Bullet Time, yes. And Lantern is obviously because we're struggling on energy, but I think Ori can really flesh up my deck, because my deck needs some, some more oomph to it. Although the deck, honestly, right now, I guess, functions pretty well. It's a small deck that with Gambling Ship, we can always kind of, for the most part, guarantee what we want to see. I do like Ori here, though, just to flesh up the deck a little bit. And I want to remove a sh I want to remove something as well, so I'm gonna do this. Dash is very good. It's upgraded, and we have we have Necronomicon. This is like block. This is Dash is huge. Acrobatics is pretty good with the bullet time. Let's say we upgrade bullet time. Acrobatics is card draw for bullet time. Another skewer is more for the uh, Necronomicon, but we already have a skewer. Deadly poison is we, this is a common block card. It's not bad. I can take a common block card. I don't. I don't mind it. It helps me hit Tory values. Deadly Poison is a little bit more poison for Catalyst, which I probably need. You get Die to Die, which is good AoE. Now, this is a block card that draws, which also with Bullet Time Plus is pretty fucking good. Die to Die is just good front-loaded AoE damage. Which, we already have a lot of AoE. We have Dagger Spray, Dagger Spray. Backflip gives us some card draw and some block attached. This is a elite killer. We can, do th we can probably do four elites. Like, die to die, we probably can do four leads here, I think. But we already had double dagger spray, so I don't feel as likely to doing it. We always want dash here. That's huge. I think acrobatics is pretty good. In the world, we upgrade bullet time. I think bullet time is pretty important because we're going to be using predator. And acrobatics wants to find bullet time more often. Uh, I don't think we want any of these. Now I'm leaning between having a common block card and dodge and roll or getting a deadly poison for more poison because we do have catalyst at the end of the day. Here's the problem. The deck has got so many attacks that the poison is no longer as the forefront of what my deck wants to do. Um, we, we, we kill things 
pretty fast with our attacks in Necronomicon. Like Dash, Predator, and Skewer are like really strong now. And uh, so going for Deadly Poison to try to get this Kalish online, it feels like I'm trying to go... It feels like I'm maybe floating the deck with something bad. So I think we take it. We should probably just take it. Ah, uh, instead of taking the dodge and roll, I could just get draw dash more often. Hmm. I don't want Kalos to be cursed. I do think Kalos is really good. So like over time, what are we gonna remove? We're probably gonna remove the second dagger spray. We're probably gonna remove accuracy finisher. Like I want to remove. If I had to remove four cards right now, it would be dagger spray, accuracy finisher, play dance. And then the deck is actually pretty good. And adding daily poison wouldn't feel bad. But I mean, like, no, we still can get fumes. We're not there yet. We're not there yet. I'm probably gonna buy fumes for sure. It's, it's, I think it's probably a dodge roll skip here. All right. All right. So backflip versus die to die. I think backflip is just really good here. What's up, Tom? How you doing? I'm not sure though. Die die die. We're about, to, we're about to fight a lot of elites. Like I can potentially fight four elites here. I can fight four elites here. Dada Dai is just killing all of the acts to hallway fights and really doing a lot of work in these elite fights. I don't really need to block right now. I could just kill things. Because we're going to need to block for a champ fight. Hmm. Well, right now, Necro is going to be really huge because of Dash. Dash Predator, Necro is going to be really huge. And we're, we're going to have to upgrade both time. I mean, as we start removing, we're going to try to get Poison back online. Like, we're definitely going to remove some of these cards. You asked a... Uh, can I just ask a Podge? So if you download a thing called Better Twitch TV, there's things called Better Twitch TV and Frank or Z. Right, I'm making one more decision, guys. I know I'm, I'm thinking about this because I do think that I die might just be really relevant now, just to get through all these elites. How useful is backflip really? I, I'm gonna need to upgrade bullet time to make backflip a better card because right now we're getting cards from predator. I guess this blessing of the forge is pretty useful for bullet time as well. All right, so we're gonna <clears throat> want to remove the accuracy, right? I don't think I care about it that much. I know it's a power that gets out of your deck; you can play it. It's just a curse, though. It's either accuracy or blade dance. I think I'd still like blade dance a little bit because the finisher exists. I'm gonna remove accuracy here, and then we have enough money for a fumes. Do we still like fumes? Or fumes is a little slow right now, right? I mean, I like the scaling and the guaranteed scaling of the fumes. Don't get me wrong. But the way the deck is operating, we don't even have time to play fumes. I guess we need to play it ar alongside, alongside bullet time. I think it's definitely a good addition to the deck. But the way the deck is so attack focused, we, we really don't have time to even wait or play fumes. We're just killing things really quickly. We're probably killing things in the first two turns, always. We have Gambling Ship, Minogenic Strength, and Necronomicon, we're, we're killing things in the first two turns. Fumes is more for the long fights. I'll take it, but... It's not gonna be that good in this fight right here. So we got we got Dada Die opening hand. We got Predator as well. Um, I think we get rid of the, the curse now. We wanted to go for like a really big opening hand with Finisher, right? We only have so much energy. Full time would be okay. That helps. Okay, that's a good turn. That's a really good turn. Instead of doing Dash, I'm gonna do Predator because by doing Predator, I can get closer into bullet time. This is a really big turn. I want to play Noxious Fumes here. I'm going to just backstab this guy so he's out of the way. I want to do Finisher though. Is, do I play Noxious Fumes? I think I'm just doing Finisher here actually. Wait. We're probably just doing Finisher. We don't even have time for Noxious Fumes. Because we had double Dagger Spray, so Noxious Fumes not even good here. And matter of fact, I probably just do 54 damage to him right now and go for the kill, no? And we have things like Skewer and other ways to kill him. So Skewer right now is currently doing um 
42 damage. That just wins. If I do Blessing the Forge, I'm wasting the Blessing, but I can upgrade Alchemize and still get lethal. Do I want to see what... Do I, a Blessing Forge is pretty powerful. Like Maybe I want to save it for another Elite, but I can also see what else I get. Blessing Forge is really powerful with Predator and Bullet Time, though. Hmm, let's see. Oh my, get the fuck out of here. Get the fuck out of here. No. Alright. Poison Pot. So, so Blur... Blur is good. Uh, actually, how, how good is Blur here? How good is Blur here? It's a block card that sometimes, if I... Since I... Let's say... On functional, in a fight, the way the deck functions, we draw a lot of cards. Double dash with blur could be a way to keep X's block. Like, I can imagine... There are turns we do get a lot of block with double dash. But how average, how often are we getting that alongside blur? We have well-laid plans to hold on to it. So we can try to time our big block turns with dash. So like, that's our big block turns, or we have big bullet time block turns. But keep in mind, bullet time is really awkward in Necronomicon. It doesn't give us the double dash. I can imagine a world where I might want to start taking blur to think about think about the turns where double dash and blur is like my only real block in the deck and I need to hold on to it for another turn. I don't think blur is the worst. Hmm. Damn, a lot of thinking this run, guys. A lot of thinking. Our average assurance, yeah, blur is bad. It's just a basic defense. But the thing is, with Act 3 and Act 4, we're going to probably want interactions like blur in the deck. Or do we? I mean, Tori just manages the multi-tags really well. So then the big hits become the problem. Hmm. And it, blur is currently occurs in the deck. I mean, the bone. So I think we can go off with just uh, upgrading here. Let's go ahead and upgrade... I think Wally Plants, Bullet Time, and Adrenaline are the best upgrades. And I like Bullet Time the most because it allows me... Bullet Time is only a good upgrade if I had things like Acrobatics and Backlink, which I currently do. So actually, Skewer is a really good upgrade. Because this is a good way to get lethal with Necronomicon. I have a lot of upgrade targets. I don't know. Wally Plants helps me have more control over the deck. The deck does have a lot of random cards. This is a very good damage upgrade with Necronomicon. I haven't even played both at once, I know. But conceptually, it's one of the best cards in my deck right now. This gives me more energy, more consistency in the deck as well. This gives me more poison scaling. Uh, I mean, we need, how much time do we have to upgrade these cards? I guess I have three upgrades if everything goes well. So, yes, both time allows drawing, but I currently have no draw cards. So if I had the acrobatics that I was going to take, or the backflip, then yes, but currently, no. So I'm going to do this. And I think I'm going to do Skewer next. I mean, these open hands are kind of nuts. So I think we just win. <laughs> Fuck, man. Do we want to do, like, Alchemize first before we win? Uh, Do we want to do Alchemize first? Or is it better just get out of this fight? Alright. Just get out of this fight. Alright, I'll... Ooh, footwork. Footwork? Okay. So back the makes the bullet time plus a little bit better. Footwork is going to be useful. So we have some block. Links dash and dodge and roll. I'll take a footwork here. Do we want to have a hold on to smoke bomb just in case things get hairy? I feel like the fear pie just destroys... It's even good for the champ fight, to be honest. With Skewer, doubled. The Fear Pot is really good for Bogus Diving as well. I'm going to take the Fear Pot. I'm, I'm, I'm fearless right now. Oh, that's... Is there, oh, my God. So now you want to lean back into this uh, Bouncing Flask Nega Skull. I mean, actually, this, this means I don't have to upgrade Noxious Zooms at the moment. Our opening hand is kind of insane here. So Blade Dance is interesting because we do have Mutagenic Strength. So they are, like, little attacks. I still rather... Play something else. It is a tough turn. I don't even know if we play Noxious Sims in this fight. I think we'd rather draw into like Dagger Spray. 
Das weiß ich nicht sein. Okay. So. How many of them can I kill? There's 30 damage right here. So if I do double, if I do double dash. 36 damage. 36 damage. Sorry, 32 plus this 48. I, I killed two of them right now. Is it better to double predator first? Eh. All right. Is it worth doing fear pot now? Maybe alchemize. Fear pot now just, doesn't fear pot just kill right now? So this is going to be twelve, and it, fear pot just kills. Let's do this. I guess I could save it for. Let's see what other potion we get. Oh, double poison is really good. Poison bots are really good. Pocket watch. Oh my god. Oh my god. Holy shit. What is going on? Whoa. Okay. So, Crimson Cloud, I love. I love the weakened and AoE poison. We have Snuggle Skull as well. Makes Bullet Time. It's a really good Bullet Time target as well. I think it could be a little bit bloaty. We finally got bullet time on opening hands. We finally got it. But that means I can't do double skewer or double dash. Is it worth it to do crippling cloud instead though? Like we can just kill this guy. <laughs> like, I don't know man, it just seems so much better. Bullet time, honestly, bullet time is not shiny right now, but it will have a place, don't worry. Bullet time will have a place. Okay, so dodge and roll is another block card that's upgraded and, and dumps my footwork. So now we can start actually getting some block in our deck. With upgraded footwork, the dodge and rolls are actually pretty relevant. And it helps me hit Tories. So dodge and roll is really, probably rounds up my deck just a little bit. It's a second predator with Necronomicon. So if we get another predator, we get more cards roll more often, and bullet time starts popping off like that. Yo, log it, when do you want to do your 1v1? The problem with bullet time is the Necronomic Curse uh, or Necronomicon interaction. It, it does ruin some of the stuff you want to do. Alright. So he's attacking this turn. We, we have the weekend. We do double predator as well. We have bouncing flask. Do I ever want to play forward here? I think we want to always look for damage, right? Let's do this. So we got the AoE weekend like that. I want to do double. Predator though. This guy. Yeah, I think. I think I like doing this. Well, how much do I like to double predator here? This guy does not has a lot more life than usual. Hmm. Let's do this. If I can watch and predator is a little redundant, but in this particular fight, I like this. Do I want to waste a poison pot just because? Sure, I mean, just gets to drop a potion. Alchemist exists. Poison seems to really be good for the champ as well, though. This is a bullet time turn. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait. So we could do dash first and then bullet time, or we can just do. Wait, skewer is. A lot. Oh my. Oh my God. I think just for the sake of bullet time, we we play it. We have to play it. But we could do double dash first and then bullet time. That's pretty fucking sick. Oh my lord. <sighs> Great turn. Alright, let's see if we get Alchemize off. Oh, Alchemize. Oh, we were. Oh, we didn't, Alchemize was the opening end, right? Alright, well. Okay, we got Pantograph. So let's just end the turn. Oh my god, what are these oh my god, what are these rewards? Stop it. Stop it. Don't stop it. Keep coming. Alright, so what's next? 
Next upgrade target. I like the footwork. So I can actually get my block. Like, I want footwork for Act 3. I'm gonna, I'm gonna need the footwork to, to pop off in Act 3. And it, it does help me all raw block. I think our damage is pretty good here. We're gonna want to upgrade Wally Plans as well. Maybe it's just footwork here, and then Wally Plans for the next two upgrades. Balancing Flash becomes really relevant with Sneko Skull. Balancing Flash Catalyst is very good. Um, Crippling Cloud is another good upgrade. Another Adrenaline is a good upgrade. We have a lot of upgrades. We have a lot of cards. I think we're leaning towards the footwork for Act 3, right? Flash for champ. Well, here's the thing. We also have like a lot of attack-based damage for the champ. We have double predators and double dashes and stuff. Um, we, have, we can have big skewers. Skewers also a very good upgrade as well. Is footwork really that important? Do we want to focus on getting Bouncy Flash for the champ? I think we want to show up our block. I think our damage is very good right now, guys. All right, this guy is something that was a little bit of a challenge. I'm a little bit scared about him. So we currently have 60 damage opening hands, 60, 74 damage opening hands. If we just play Skewer, we have 74 damage. If we play this, we have 18 block, which means we take six damage. And we get Pocket Watch, right? So we do this, we, we get Pocket, we don't get Pocket Watch, my bad. 74 damage though. Can we do better? We we'll probably do better for like, yeah, we we'll probably do better here. Probably do better. This is better. Is it though? It, it makes take no damage. Ah, uh, how do I want to play this? So I save the poison for the, the champ. I won't get black watch because if I play uh, like the four cards, so since that number can play it twice, I, I only I play four cards. You want a poison here? I don't think we need a poison here, right? Save the potion. So we only take one damage here. Seems fine. Get me in the bone. Wait, we take one damage and we get perfect me in the bone. Are you kidding me? Wait, this is out of a goddamn movie. No, we don't need poison pot. If we keep poison pot and we get perfect me in the bone with pantograph full heal. This is glorious. Okay, strike tell me you're trolling me. But it's okay. I I, ha I hit big. A lot of relics. I can't complain. Alright, so now we have another upgrade. I think we'd like the Wally plans for more consistency, but bouncing flash is pretty relevant because we have Snuggle Skull. And that's our That's our scaling. Like we can do some big scaling callous damage. But I don't know. I mean we have so many upgrades. It's hard for me to evaluate what you need to upgrade first. Adrenaline, Crippling Cloud, Wally Plans. I, I think Wally Plans is a very important upgrade. So we got Bullet Time Opening Hands. We also got Alchemize. We could just like... I can go for a big damage this turn with like Finisher and Bullet Time. I really want to play Wally Plans. I don't think we're playing Callus now. We can probably play Alchemize. It's a tough turn because... Bullet Time's not even that good here. I can wait till I redraw it. I'm gonna do this. How much damage do I really- I, I wanna try to do some damage here. Maybe Alchemize is not that important now. Let's try to get advantage of Meteoric Strength. I guess I could've saved onto Footwork. I could've held onto Footwork there, I guess. And try to get more finisher value to get some more damage, but... So we got Double Predator. And we can do Survivor here. And now we can do things like, like I want to hold to my block. I also really want to get Crippling Cloud out. Ah, uh, stuff. All right. So double dash just blocks this, and we can play Noxious Fumes. We get Pocket Watch. Like my God. The problem with double dash right now is, I'm taking one damage, and I don't want to take one damage. But it might be necessary just to get Noxious Fumes out.
the thing is, the poison started came first. Pandora's Box put this into like a whole attack base thing. But yeah, we have a nice hybrid. And the, double, the dash was a really big upgrade as well. Like a really big... It, it helps for boss fights like this. Well, no, because dash does... Dash does a 24 block. Oh, I have 24 block. Math. Let's get this out of the deck. Oh my god, that's a bullet time. Um, do we want to pop off a bullet time here? I'm not even sure. Uh, I, do I just do a shit ton of damage and just wait, hope for the best? Like, I don't know. I, how am I supposed to play this? I, it seems hard to slow play this fight. It feels like I just do a lot of things. I could save bullet time for a better turn. I don't, I don't need it this turn necessarily. I can hold on to it. So maybe this turn I can just do like Bouncing Flask Alchemize. Hold on to Adrenaline Bullet Time for next turn. I do want to get rid of that I die though. I'm gonna do this first. Uh, I can hold on to bullet time. Let's 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 do this. All right, this is good. This is good. Let's do this. Okay, let's do this. Let's do double predator here. So I can hold on to bullet time for double predator turn. Now. Do we want to get that out of the deck? Or do we want to hold on to some block? Let's do this. We're doing a lot of damage. So, this is a decent bullet time turn. This is what Predator exists. And I think we just callous now, right? So, let's take a look at the math. We are weakened. He's going to replay vulnerable right now. Um, we could do Poison Pot to make this fight a little bit easier for me. I think we just go all out. But we can kind of wait till it's a little bit closer. I won't be. I'm going to be waiting for another turn as well. It's like so we're weakened here. Uh, how much poison do we actually have right now? Another five. So we have 22, 22, 67. If we add a poison pot, that does help a little bit. Let's do it. Let's raise poison pot here. I can hold it to dash because dash is like my best block card. But I can also just do like a lot of damage right now. I am weakened. I can also hold on to it and get pocket watch next turn and hold on to dash for next turn. So I can do things like dodge and roll, dodge and roll, cloak and dagger. Or like dodge and roll, dodge and roll. And hold on to dash to flex for next turn. I'm missing out on like 18 damage now. Alright. Hmm. So we do have bullet temp, but we also probably want to do double dash, right? That's tough to say. Bullet temp does a lot more for me right here. Double dash blocks for 24. So let's say I do double dash, survivor, neutralize, deflect, and then hold on to everything else. Let's check if we have lethal actually. Let's say we do both time. How much damage do we have? We have 12 poison. He has 3, right? So 12 plus 3 is 15. 15 plus 16 is 31. 31, 35, um, 48. 48 plus 13. We're at 60, 61 damage. We're at 61 damage right now. We can get the lethal next turn. Full block. And then... The skewer just killed next turn, guaranteed. Skewer next turn is going to be uh, 42 damage. 
guess like he gets like 14 12 block or something let's do uh let's do this no we don't need to use energy buff there we just have lethal So Corpse Rose is really good, that gives us like more poison, but also really good insurance for some fights that we care about. Donu, Dekka, Cultists, Jawworms, Darklings, um, Corpse Rose is just a really fucking good card, man. And also works with Nagoscope, of course. After him, it helps him get more block in, in total, but Corpse Explosion is huge. I guess there's a world with tools to trade, it helps us cycle more, to, and more into, bull into bullets more often, and also helps us get to our other cards. We never want Choker here, right? There's a world where we take Runic Dome. Like, Tools makes a lot of sense for cycling, but Corpse covers so many holes. Okay. We can probably take Runic Dome here. Do we care about that fourth energy? We have things like Energy Pot. We do have things like Bullet Time existing. We have Double Adrenaline. Double Adrenaline and Bullet Time. Maybe we don't need the energy. Tiny house. It gives me upgrades, which I want. I like the upgrades. I like the max HP. I like the gold. I like the potions. I like it all. Four energy means we can do things like adrenaline and double dash and double predator before we play other cards. I would take I would, if I don't want the fourth energy. If I don't want to take the downside of I don't want taking choker here. But if I don't want the downside of dome, I would take tiny house for sure. I mean, but let's see how bad dome really is for us. Dome is makes multi attacks. The reason why Dome is bad, guys, is because I have Tori, right? And Tori nullifies a lot of the multi-attacks. So I need to know for sure what damage is coming for the heart, like the big attack or not, because that's my block is kind of very specific. So if I can time my block to only for the big hits... I mean, in a world where Tori exists, I don't really take a lot of damage from the heart because of multi-attacks. But I would still like to know if it's a big hit or not. I think it's just a tiny house, honestly. I mean, we can get by with Runic Dome. Our deck is so strong. It just plays a lot of cards and does a lot of things. I would like to know if I'm getting a big hit or not to the champ fight. I'm sorry, the hard fight. I mean, 4th energy does make a lot of difference. I'm going to go for the tiny house. A good upgrade. Another Bouncing Flask. Bouncing Flask is really good. We have Senegal School, so we can lean into more Bouncing Flask with... Pull the time and Predator, you know, to get that whole thing, more, more, more poison, that could be our damage. Or we could just take the backflip as a card that draws, applies block, and it helps me with bullet time stuff. Like, I think it might be just a backflip here. Is the second Bouncing Flask a meme? Feels like it is. Alright. Going against the Awakened One. Alright, so we got two elites here, got some events, we may look for Mind Bloom or something. In an early shop. We have a lot of hallway fights. Can we avoid those? Let's say we go for the events instead. Go this way. And we go for a late shop. We, we skip some of these hallway fights. So look at these hallway fights. Bam, 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 bam. If you want to skip those hallway fights, we go three elites. Sorry, three events. And then we go. We still get three hallway fights. So we get one less hallway fight. But we don't get an early shop. And we get an early elite. And then we, from here we get another event over here and another shot. We get more events this path. This, this path gives us more events, more mind bloom chances. What's up, loading? I guess it comes down to I want the early shot, but I want the events. Go for the events. You guys think Joker was fine there? I'm not sure if I want to do Akamai's here.
Another dodge and roll. Is, is that going to be our block? Just more, one more dodge and roll? I think we're good now, right? So we don't take any... If we take this dodge and roll, it's probably the last one we're taking. Do we want a third one? And that runs out our block. Do we need this? Or is it just bloaty? The biggest problem is big hits. So we need to have big block for the the big hits. I think one more. That's it. That's that's last. That's the last one. We're good. I mean, I don't think I need to finish there actually. Is this how this works? <laughs> no. Camera quirks, I know. Camera quirks would've been sick. I'm gonna get more rare relics. We have a lot of mirror relics. So acrobatics is interesting. Uh, we don't really have the energy for acrobatics. So we don't need it. We don't need acrobatics here. Alright, let's see what events we get, guys. Oh no. So we're gonna have to lose our skewer. I guess it's fine. Because we have dash and predator are kind of taking up the two class slot. Like skewer is good damage, but we only have three energy, right? And three energy makes skewer worse. So I think it's actually okay removal. Because we'd rather be doing dash or predator if we're using Necronomicon. Skewer sometimes gives us lethal, but it's not upgraded. So this is a pull perfectly fine. Actually, it's probably like ideal. So I, I, I do want apotheosis with this deck. We have gambling ship, so we can get apotheosis in the first hand with gambling ship. And I think upgrades do a lot of good for this deck. There's still some cards I want to upgrade. If I would do three just to find apotheosis, I feel like. The other things we probably would like to see are... I mean, I can see Dark Cycles. I have no Piercing Will, so Dark Cycles could be useful sometimes. Panic Button in the Pinch. I'm about to take 10 damage before we go to an Elite Fight. Is that something we're scared of? I don't think so. Mind Blast. Trip thinking ahead, purity. Mind blast of madness the bomb. Well. Well, we don't need any of these cards. Yeah, we don't need any of these cards. Mind blasts? No. It's probably thinking ahead, trip purity. Okay, let's think about this one. Purity could sometimes get rid of like play dance or like a second dagger spray. Or statuses. So purity can manage statuses. So think about a world where like we have pocket watch, we draw a lot of cards, and purity manages some statuses that we're gonna be getting in the next couple of uh floors. For the hard fight, for the act four elite. I don't know I don't know if purity is something I actually want to consider here. Just to get rid of some bad cards or just to get rid of statuses. And since we have pocket watch, we can kind of get bigger hands. Think it ahead. It could allow me to do more manipulations, so I can put like bullet time on top of the deck. I can put like callus on top of the deck. Thinking ahead is not a bad card. Definitely not a bad card. I'm thinking about statuses here, so I'm thinking purely just purely for statuses. That we're either that or just get rid of like dagger spray finisher. So we don't really like those cards. And if we get rid of things like dagger spray finisher, our deck is pretty nice. We get a lot of footwork dodge and rolls. We get dashes. We get predator more often. We get bullet time more often. Just we clean up the deck. All right. So I wonder if I can take a regret here. We we have purity. We could also remove the regret at the next shop. That's a lot of gold. But here's the thing: at the fight, two elites with regret, and we have a lot of card draw. With bullet time and predator, uh, sorry, bullet time, predator, and pocket watch. And that's, that's a decent amount of gold. We could could even pivot here and go to the shop instead, and go for more events. So 
that's it. I probably only do one fight. Maybe. We have to regret and we can go over here to the early shop. Let me go for two shops instead. That's a lot of that's a lot of gold. Do I wanna I mean, I'm gonna take some damage from it for sure. Do I want to pivot to over here because of the regret or still do one elite anyways? It's a decent amount of gold. I'll do it. So I want to say purity for regret, but I think we just do purity now to get rid of these dagger sprays, right? I mean, this we just want to like for this fight we want to just apply poison and pass. It sucks that we're gonna have regret in the deck though. I mean, this is like, actually good damage right now. So don't get me wrong, this is actually pretty decent damage. Is that damage relevant? Because I want to do purity on these three cards and make the deck super clean. But maybe I'm missing out on some like decent starting damage. If I purity these cards, I, I get into a really streamlined deck where I get dodge and rolls, and I get my like my my, my bouncy flash more often. We get double dash and predator and bullet time more often, but we also have regret in the deck still. I'm gonna draw regret more often, absolutely. Hmm. So we're going for the poison route then, right? How much damage is this doing? I guess let's take a look at that. 16, 18. Yeah, 34, 34 plus. Uh, let's say like 20 around here. 20, 21, 30, 34, 55. Say so this is gonna be around 67. Six, nah, probably like 69, 69, plus 4 attacks, 1, 2, 3, 4, um, probably do like 13 at this point, 14, so it's going to be 56, we're doing like 120 damage, we're doing like 120 damage right now, if we play those cards, 120 damage, how relevant is that, eh. Alright, so the deck's gonna be clean, we're gonna draw regret a lot more often though. We're weakened, so I don't even think I do that glass knife here. Oh. I'm a little bit worried I'm a little bit worried about regret here. Especially in this turn where I had no discard. <laughs> Yikes. Um well this is a pretty important turn for me though. So I'm gonna do this. This is the prior time to do Callus, yep. I wanna do double predator into like energy pot, I think. Does that make sense? Is that worth it? Maybe not, I can save energy pot for another turn. I mean, I, the thing is I have Alchemize, that's the, that's the only reason why I thought about that. Uh, hold... I'll hold on to Alchemize. Hope Regret doesn't do too much to me. Alright, we got Bouncing Flask again. Um... Do we ever just do Speed Pot, get it out of the way? Because we have Alchemize in our hands. And Speedpot also blocks for next turn as well. And I get Alchemize played. So we also, we also block for next turn. Mm, nice, we got Weaken and we got Double Predator. 
So Pocket Watch doesn't matter because we have Double Predator, and I think we're about to get Lethal, which is fantastic. Not a bad fight. Not bad fight. All right. So Regret didn't do too much for us. Regret did like two damage, I think. Omori. Ooh. So if we find Mind Bloom. Oh man, one more it could be huge if we find Mind Bloom. At this point, I actually want to prioritize events because we want to find Mind Bloom that bad. Maybe I just do go. Maybe I just skip this, but I do have to recall though. I can recall here and then do one more elite anyways. Do we ever take Sucker Punch for more weaken? We have Neutralize and we have Crippling Cloud. We skip here. Mind Bloom would be huge though. It's even more. Uh, that would be huge. Uh. I don't know if you, do we need bullet time for this? How good is bullet time here? Let's, let's find out. Okay. That's fine. I do want to hit the shop, but there's a shop right here too. There's two there's a shop there and a shop at knocked four, and I still want to get an elite. That's my only reasoning. Uh, do I want to get alchemized? Do I care about flex pot? Yeah. Let's just kill this six over regardless doesn't do anything to us. Alright. So now we have options. Uh, we can go to the shop now and go for two more events, three more events, which is potentially mind bloom. Or we can go over here, still get the campfire, get two events. The campfire is for the recall. We get another upgrade, and then we get that. And we skip the elite altogether. Maybe we don't care about elite. No more mind bloom past four forty. Wait, you can get you can get mind bloom at past four forty. We won't get the normality of mind bloom. But we still get Mind Bloom. We just still, I still want it for the rare boss and the free heal. And there's also other curses from these events. So Pass for 40 won't get Mind Bloom normality. That's fine. We'll still get Mind Bloom though. Double Dash. Double Predator. Can't play this. Can't play that. Probably don't play that. Ah, uh, fuck. I wonder if I should be doing Alchemize every fight, though. I, I do want to try to prevent regret from killing me so that's the only reason why i'm doing this much damage is because regret exists so i gotta kill this thing asap i guess we do have survivor so do we get rid of flex spot because we don't care about it as much it's pretty good with our deck but let's let's see what alchemist has i like blessing the force it's quite nice i approve open my door Yeah. Thank you. Another backflip. Uh. Oh, oh my God. Thanks for your one. Appreciate it. Another backflip. How do we feel about that? I don't have a lot of energy. Backflip does. Like, two backflips doesn't feel that great. Not not a lot of energy. I mean, if you go back uh, bull time. Don't think we need another backflip. Although deck is getting kind of fat. I, mean, I do value the campfire because I do want to upgrade some of these cards. Um, I do want to upgrade Bouncing Flask at this point. Dagger Throw is interesting as card as well. Oh, Bronze Scale, that really does suck, guys. That's pretty good damage. Alright, so here's my dilemma, guys. Uh, one more shop here to get two shop, or I want to still upgrade. 
things like uh, bouncing flask and adrenaline. So we still have a shop here and a shop in Act Four. So I feel like going for this campfire feels a bit better, just because we do need some upgrades. All right. We feel like Bouncy Flash is a little bit better now, right? We, like, we just maybe want to upgrade our scaling just a little bit. Noxious Zooms obviously wants it to. Grip and Cloud, maybe. I think Bouncy Flash feels better here. Two shops. Puzzle is huge. Boom! So, there's a world where we upgrade our cards. Just think about it. No longer heal doesn't feel that great. Especially with Pentagraph existing for action to 20 bosses in Blood Vial. So, it's probably just rare relic. Get a heal, anyways. But uh, let's see if we upgrade these cards. Nah, it's definitely just a rare relic, pantograph value. Let's do this. Let's do uh, footwork, double putter. We can get pocket watch, I guess. It's really matter. Pocket watch doesn't matter with double putter. It's actually just redundant. All right. Da do I value these potions or what, what, what am I alchemizing for? I'm alchemizing for like duplication pot or uh, or like ghost in a jar. You can't get no money past level 40. How much do I value upgrade pot? Eh, probably not more than uh, the, the things I mentioned. Dikers. Whoa. We need Wally Plans out. Oh! We do need Wally Plans out right now. I think Shadow pretty good. That's a bullet time. Fuck it. Hold on to Survivor for regret is the number one thing. Even though we can heal back up, no problem. Um, same deal, same story. Managing regret until we remove it. Boom. Alright, cool. I guess purity was better in that situation, but... Purity's a little bit... Ooh, Captain's was very good. Gambler's Brew? Gambler's Brew versus Energy Pot. Gambler's Brew is kind of like an Energy Pot. Sorry. Yes, Gambler's Brew is kind of like an Energy Pot because of Bullet Time. So if we Gambler's Brew full hand and get into Bullet Time, it's a little bit better than Energy Pot. Gambler's Brew also manages regrets sometimes. Energy Pot allows you to do things like Double Predator or Double Dash before you play Bullet Time. Gambler's Brew is probably a better potion in general than Energy. Unless, maybe we don't, maybe let's say we don't value Dexterity Pot as much as Energy Pot here. Mm, I like this. Alright, we got a Shoppy. Whoa, that's a membership card. Okay. So, let's go ahead and remove Regret. How do we feel? How do we feel about uh, another pin uh, Predator here for more consistency? We don't really have energy for it, right? Not the greatest of shops. Like, I think Tinksha does some damage. I don't think it's that relevant. We discard with Gambler's Brew. Sorry. With the... Uh, Gambling chip. We don't have the calculator gamble or anything like that. This feels like a, a little expensive for what it's providing. Now, there's a world we don't have enough money to spend an Act 4 shop. Like, it might be not enough stuff. I just don't think this value. It's just not that valuable. This, this, we, this money could be relevant for Act 4 shop. There's also, you know. I might have too much money for Act 4 Shop, of course. Oh. 
If I ever have too much money for extra shop, then things should just good here. Uh, we don't know. I, things just don't make that much for me. All right, last upgrade. Noxious fumes. So we have four tick of poison every time. Crippling cloud to get that little bit extra boost. Bullet time. So in the world where I have backflip, I can at least do backflip bullet time. Maybe just bullet time, honestly. So that, I don't know, a lot of times whatever, it's one of my best cards though. Noxious Mist is better for like Time Eater and Dekka. Let's upgrade both time, well, sure, let's upgrade both time, sure. All right, so we're playing footwork for this fight. That's one power we're playing. So we got Corpse Person opening hand. So this, I will take damage here because we can take up to 25 damage. So as much as I want to play footwork, I want to do Corpse Explosion, kill the, the cultist as soon as I can. And once I do that, the fight's over for the most part. I do want to play footwork as well though. So it's tough. This is where you really want bullet time actually. Because I want to play all these cards. So now that I have upgraded both of them, I wonder if I keep the the backflip. I, I only have so much energy to do so many things, so... We could just argue that Corp Explosion and Forework are just really good cards that I want to play. And then we kill the minions. We have Forework out and play. Yeah, I think maybe we just... If anything, Forework, Corp Explosion is what we want to play the most. It's like, <laughs> I guess I can get back into footwork. I don't need it right now. I can take damage, get back into footwork. I can also full block. Or well, not full block, but. I'll do this. So now we argue do we want Welly Plans played? Wally Plans probably helps me, right? So, for me, it's like Wally Plans or Footwork. With Pocket Watch, Wally Plans was a little bit less good. With Predator and Pocket Watch, I draw enough cards, but maybe Wally Plans is not as good. I don't want to shrink them up too much. I know we have Tori, though. Yo, what's up, Devil Eye? So, the minions are dead, and now I just gotta focus on. Let's go, Devil Eye. Ultimate supporter. It's probably just about to double dash and weaken here. I do like Wallet Plans though. I'm just worried giving him too much strength because I don't have that much weaken. My weaken is neutralized and crippling cloud. So I would have to keep weaken on him. I'm trying to determine if Wallet Plans are worth it. Do we ever want to do Noxious Zooms to get this damage going? Question is do we save Catalyst for round two or do it for round one? And then for round two, we just do things like Bouncing Flask. I don't know. I feel like... So we want to get rid of Blade Dance, right? With Purity, what else? We want to get rid of... Finisher, maybe? Get rid of Finisher Blade Dance? That's good damage, but... Eh. Actually, this is a good time to do Catalyst. If we waste it now... Let's go, Magnadra with the 10 gifted subs. Thank you so much, man. Oh, Welcome, everybody. Thank you for the gifted subs. Huge. Professional Dodgers in the chat. Oh, do we have? Do we do enough damage quick enough in the second phase? If we, um, oh, I think so, right? In the second phase, we the voids really affect us, but we'll probably be having oh, Noxious Dreams out played. Alright, I'm doing this. Oh, oh, 
Yeah. You think I'll be able to use the bathroom? Can I do this with saving public as well, though? If I save footwork, footwork is really good for dodge and roll. find my uh just just have the least strength as possible let's just go for that route double predator is really good here double predator into like take one damage here Taking one damage. It's a little not not that typical. Let's do this. I want to get this out of the deck. No damage. And now let's get our powers out and play. Okay, so. No weaken. But we have alchemized this turn. This is a pretty rough turn, I suppose, in terms of damage. Do we ever just do Gambler's Boom now? So we want to play our powers, but I don't want to take 42 or take this much. I mean, we can take damage with a Pantograph, but that's getting a little bit excessive, no? Let's say we do Dex... No weaken here. I mean, the next boss fights are really easy for me anyways. So that's fine. I don't want to really want to waste waste potions here. I don't really want to waste potions here, but we do have alchemize. All right, I'll do this. Double that to a predator. We definitely want to get bullet time now. This is a very good time for bullet time. Because we have to play a lot of this poison to get the damage going. And we want to get our powers out as well. So let's see what we draw. Let's not talk about that. Let's do this. Um, do that. Got our, we got our footwork out now, so life is really good. Um, I can neutralize now. I'm gonna do this. Uh, pocket watch is pretty important, but yeah, pocket watch is pretty important. My dog's been having diarrhea for like three days now, guys, so I, I'm probably going to take him out. In a second here. Drink pot. I guess it's a good time to do dash, but I like the double dash. Alright, so our game is obviously quite nice when we don't even have like the callus. We, we, we do some work here. And then things like dodge roll are pretty effective. We draw a lot of cards. The deck's so streamlined, we're actually getting bullets from every other turn. Which is quite nice. We're hitting 27 here. Not bad. Alright. 
Yeah, if I didn't upgrade Bullet Time Boy, it would be really bad. Alright. So, I don't care about the Finisher Blade Dent stuff. What do you want to do in this fight? What's our goal here? Can we set up like a three turn lethal catalyst? Do we have the poison capacity for that? Yeah, I guess we just gotta like bouncing fast like twice. And then we can go for like a three turn lethal thing. We wanna get our powers out though. Definitely wanna get like I like the weakened crypto cloud. I think we wanna get our powers out. I wanna get that out of the deck. I don't know, there's a couple of things I wanna do. I wanna get the weakened and poison started. I wanna get that die out of the deck. I'll do this. We got the footwork. Um, let's get the poison started. I also want to get some cards out of my deck though, so maybe instead of getting poison like this, oh, the stack is too important. So we don't get our pocket watch, we don't get... We have gamblers coming up, not gamblers, but we have a captain's wheel coming up. This is, uh, this is fine. I'll do that. Not that turn. That's a pretty bad captain's wheel. But we do get our powers out, which is pretty nice. Do I care about... I think I'd rather get rid of Shank Pot and just do Akamai's now. Let's see, let's play this. Alright, we have to play one card here. Maybe it's just Akamai's. If we do Catalyst now, we're doing... 50 set of... No, I can't do that. 27, 57, 58? 58 is not quite the 3 turn lethal thing, but if we pop Bouncing Flask... We use Predator instead of the uh, Alchemize. I want to kind of want to get Alchemize out of my deck, though. Hold on to Callus 2 is useful. Alright, let's block first. This could be a good Snackle Oil turn for Bullet Time. I don't, I don't think I value Snackle Oil otherwise. This feels like a good snack oil for bullet time here. Let me use the bathroom real quick. Not bad guys, I had to uh, feed my dogs. I have to walk them around for this. Do I really want to play all these cards? I only have four cards next turn. Yeah, I had to, uh... So we call this now. Let's do the math, guys. 60. Let's do the math. Seventy poison. Let's do the math time. Seventy poison. Alright, calculator. Alright, let's make my life easier. Minus 70. And the next one is going to be uh, plus 3, right? Because I didn't upgrade that. It's going to be 72 poison. So, minus 72. Put some right at the precipice. Too much damage. Too much damage. That's pretty bad. Because if I do that he gets 236 and then the next turn is going to be 75 but he's already clearing at that point 240 so 70 is not enough we need we actually do less poison damage because if i do that now i did too much damage that proxies heal too quickly fortunately all right yeah it's a little unfortunate Uh, so we're gonna have to do, for, in order for the three turn lethal, we're gonna have to do a lot more poison. Or there's a world where I have to bring him down to like 240, so let me see, 241. Yeah, so we have to bring him closer down, we, we have to do, uh, Doing damage is actually pretty good here. 
I want to do purity here. And I actually want to do some damage. I'm going to play up to a couple cards. If I do damage, bring him closer to like around 241 or 242, we can we can win this. That actually is actually really important damage though. Uh, I can get Black Watch. I'm gonna do this. So the Dexter is important damage because, like I said, we, we're actually going to do a. Um, if we bring him a little bit more damage, the, the, the Callus actually does a lot of work. I guess at any point we can do the math to just decide one Callus is perfect. So, for instance, if I do Corp Explosion first, 7, so 32, it'll be 90. 97 poison? And how does that make a difference? 97 poison. Let's see. Minus 97. And then another minus 99. That's not enough. So doing corpus explosion and callus right now is not good, but we can do it next turn. So. I do damage now. Uh, I guess math is like a little bit difficult because I have to decide like how much. Uh, let me see. Uh, Alright, let me see. I'm gonna do math real quick. Two and one. Uh, we need to do 58 damage. If we, if we do Corpse Callus next turn, we need to do 58 damage. If we do Dagger Spirit now, that brings him minus 12. Alright, one, one last math thing. Fuck. I could just play it, play the cards and not think about it, but this could also change. I can just do the math now. Alright, so 354, and then next turn he's taking 27. 24, 27, 34, 104, 34, 112, wait, 34 is 90 plus 12, so 102, but 103, minus 103, next turn is minus 105, so I need 46 damage at that point. I notice what? Taking structure in the background. Huh, I didn't notice that. Oh, doesn't Bassy Flash just do it for us next turn? Oh, there's Bassy Flash. Oopsies. I didn't even take a look at my draw. Alright, map time. This probably this probably 100 percent does it. I'm just gonna do it just in case. Just in, just in case I'm wrong. Alright, this probably 100 percent does it though. Yeah, that's too lethal. Like, it's not even close. Cool. I guess it's pretty easy to see that. Do we do alchemize yet? Yeah. Alright, I gotta walk my dogs, guys. My dog's been having issues, so I just fed them. I know I walked my dogs twice, but only because Albie's having some diarrhea, guys. So I'll try to be back quickly, okay? Try to be back in a jiffy. I'm probably going to upgrade the Noxious Room's Adrenaline. I'll decide now. Be right back. I know. This is the harsh reality, I know. There's no there's no live editing. I had to walk the dogs. Alright. I'm going to upgrade the damage. I, I want, I'm going to have enough damage. What we got in the shop here, boys? Whoa! Okay. Snap it. Boom. Alright. So now, a couple of things we can ask about. We can take the Vajra and the 
Sling of Courage. I get extra damage in the elite fight just to kill him quicker. We can take Blur. I think Blur is pretty good now because we actually have a footwork and some dodge and rolls. So Blur actually helps our overall block. So now it's between Power Pot and Swift Pot. Power Pot versus Swift Pot. I think I like Power more. How do we feel about Gambler's Brew? I think it was pretty useful for like turn two of the elite. Um, I even like the, the stuff. So what do we remove? We'll probably remove Blade Dance at this point, right? Blade Dance feels pretty bad. At least Dagger Spray does AoE damage, and we're actually going to have Dagger Spray with the, the, the strength now. So we remove this. Probably buy this. I, I like the blur. I think I like the blur as well. So now we get Gambus versus Power Swift Pot. I think I like Gambus Return 2 of the Elite, so I'm going to keep it. So where will we take Flash of Steel? Flash of Steel helps our overall damage a little bit. I think we're fine. Alright. So we want to get Corpus Explosion right away, right? But we can't even play it. Okay, so this is an interesting hand. So we don't actually need to play Survivor. I don't think we want to send us We probably want to get full work out. Backstep feels fine. Alright, so this is a good hand. Do we ever just do Alchemize? I think I like Power Pot more. This is tough. So we're not getting... We're not getting... I probably want to consider Pocket Watch next turn. Actually. Pocket Watch next turn is pretty damn useful with the Gambler's Brew. We can do it to the Lagia. Is there to buy germs? No, unfortunately. <laughs> you just gotta... Well, if you're a sub, you get more germs. So, I guess subbing gives you more germs. But, um, you just gotta wait. Just gotta, I, I gotta watch the stream and you gotta watch the stream. I really need that water. I have to go to groceries, walk the dogs. I didn't stop and drink water today. Uh, I want to check something real quick. Mm-mm-mm-mm. <clears throat> Pocket Watch is pretty relevant, guys. So that does that mean I have so many things to play though? Is Pocket Watch more relevant than anything else I'm trying to play here? I already played the adrenaline. How about this? What if I turn my back and take damage? So that I get Tintana Puzzle. Because I won't be able to get Pocket Watch this turn. How's that sound? I turn my back, take damage. We lose a plated armor, but we get Centennial Puzzle, and we can have a better turn two potentially with Gambler's Brew. We won't get blur value, but because uh, the other alternative is like I can't really get pocket watch here. Hold on to Alchemize and Blur or Alchemize Catalyst? I think Catalyst is really important. Alchemize because we're probably going to play Gamma's Blur, right? But Blur is a block card. So we take one damage, lose one plate of armor in order to get a better turn next turn. We're going to use Gamma's Blur next turn for sure. Catalyst is really important because we want to do Crippling. We want to do Corpse Explosion Catalyst, right? Alchemize is sort of nice because of Gamma's Blur, but maybe Alchemize is not as important as is like getting a block card. Because we don't have that many block cards in our deck. I mean, I guess we have a decent amount of block cards. I still feel like Blur is better. And, uh, we'll try to redraw to Aquamites, if anything, before the fight's over. So 
This is a very important turn for us. If we were to game this brew, we have weak in here. We probably really want bullet time, right? So let's say we get rid of like this is a lot of damage. The glass knife, all this stuff is a lot of damage. But let's say we get rid of the dagger spray. Let's say we're not even doing college now because we don't have the we don't even have the um, maybe college is not worth it. I was gonna try to hold on to it, but it just doesn't do enough right now. So let's say we get rid of college dagger spray, glass knife, the double burns, and then we keep everything else. Feels fine. We don't have energy for all this stuff. That means we really want to get bullet time. So we're trying to get lucky with bullet time, I guess. We got the corp explosion. How important is a weaken here? We we can take damage. We can take up to. All right, so let's take a look. We need this to turn our back. All right. We can mitigate how much here. We can mitigate 12 damage. So for two energy, I'm mitigating 12 damage. But for two energy, I can do a lot more with dodge and roll. Oh, we're taking some big hits here, but uh, I don't know. There's not much I can do about that. There's not much I can do about that. Um, what's up, Pablo? How you doing, buddy? Yeah, Act 4's been out for a while. It's not, I wouldn't say this is new, no. So we want to play Crypt Corp Explosion for sure. Noctur Swims is probably really good as well. We want all these cards, to be honest, to be frank. This is probably not a purity time. Uh, I'm gated by energy here. So we heal this. We can heal this. If we draw into adrenaline, we have a really good bullet time turn. I actually really like this turn. Oh, we didn't draw adrenaline. I still think bullet time is fine here. As well, we just double dash instead though, for damage, and hold on to bullet time. Because next turn we can have pocket watch bullet time and hold on to it. If I do bullet time now though, I get the corpse explosion out of the way. I get the corpse explosion out of the way, I can get dagger spray and finisher out and stuff like that. So it feels like both of them is pretty good just to play this turn out. Maybe I hold into dash. Because if I do double dash right now, I have full block and then. But I don't play all the other cards. Alright. Crunchy could be useful to get lethal. Does Kalish just win here? The Kalish just wins, right? Um, it's 67 poison. So I just need to do 2 damage. 2 damage. And I do 2 damage with Glass Knife Predator and stuff. We just win. And, uh, you know, we're pretty healthy here. Shuriken, the good memories. So, oh, I didn't focus. I didn't focus on Instant Burner. I totally forgot that I bought that. That's really bad. It's, it's five is horrible. Instant Burner is very relevant. Wait, what? Oh my god, that's really bad. How much more damage were they doing just there? How much damage were they doing right there? That's really, really bad. Five is really, really bad. It's the worst one. I'm trying to see how much uh, how much did I block there. Too late now. Doesn't matter. Escape plan, dodge and roll. Escape plan useful. Escape plan feels fine, right? 
I mean, if it doesn't get a skill, it's just a beat of death to the face. Well, yeah, I mean, I, I just bought it, so I wasn't keeping track of it the whole game. That's pretty important. I, I don't know how much damage we're doing. I think it's better to just kill her anyways, though. So five means is active on a buff turns, yeah. Which is not the worst. You can save some life from playing cards, but no, it's, it's, it's really bad. You don't get any value out of that. Yes, it is. It's useless. Again, I don't know how much damage we're doing, but I think they were doing a shit ton, and I didn't have enough block. Pretty sure. Your choice. Oh, thank you, Pablo. I'll, I'm gonna skip here. That bullet time now. You probably want to save bullet time with wallet plans for next turn, right? You probably want to get alchemist out of the way now. I want to get, draw some more, more stuff, so I think I'm gonna discard everything. Glass knife and backstab. I get the backstab out of my deck. I can also get like a cheeky shuriken proc. I think I'd rather. There's a world where we take enough damage to proc and turn into bullet time now. And get a really big turn. I think I'd rather just like actually discard most of this stuff. And keep only this. Wow. That's a lot of stuff. I mean, we want to draw into our cards, right? Like, we want to find our powers and stuff. So let's see what power potion we have now. Wow, that's a raid form. Raid form is pretty good for. If I pop raid form now, I lose the dexterity for the rest of the fight, but I don't take any damage for the next two turns. And if I don't take damage for the next two turns, how useful is that? And then I have to just really get poison going. Nah, this seems bad to use now. There's a world though where I, I can just don't take damage for the next two turns. And we're going to be losing dexterity, but maybe we can survive losing dexterity because I don't know how long the fight is going to last, like how much poison we're going to do. Couch helps, helps with the multi-hits. Toes of Trade helps us with the... Um, this does more damage. I think Rayform was better for liquid memories. Because uh, next year we could just die next year, actually. I, I don't know I, I want to play Wally Plants, right? First and foremost. Question is, now I don't have, like... Yeah, so if you use Wraith now, you get incense for the next two turns. You don't take any damage for the next two turns, which is going to be really hard turns because we're going to be vulnerable. We got the Weaken. We also got Poison. Alright, I also want to see what Alchemist gives us. You okay, buddy? You having diarrhea problems again? Oh, so we have a lot of... Ref so we our damage is covered. Our damage is covered now. Uh, we just gotta survive the, the vulnerable turn here. Survive the vulnerable turn, and... The multi hit should be fine. We just gotta survive the next big vulnerable turn. So I want to hold on to bullet time for that. So I'm, I'm probably gonna end up doing some 20 plus of bullet time next turn. I want to get the poison going now. So the one, two, three, four. We hold on to dodge and roll and uh, pull the Do I ever want to do liquid memories right now? I'm bouncing fast, get all the poison going. Do I ever want to do liquid memories right now? Get that poison going sky high. What else? Liquid memories could be useful for later on for like bringing back bullet time or bringing back. Like, I can definitely get more value out of liquid memories. But I can also just stack the poison now. So then when I find catalyst, I just. Boom, I have tons of poison. Just surviving this next big uh, big hit is the number one priority. And we're probably going to be using bullet time and puzzle for that. So stacking bullet time. Sorry, stacking the poison now does feel a little premature. Let's just get through these next two turns first. So, worst case is that we take 15 damage here. So, double dash blocks. Uh, double dash is like my block for next turn, right? Like, double dash. Hmm. 
seems like my good block for next turn. Can do double dash, liquid memory is dash, and block the big hit. With double predator, I can get a really big turn next turn with bullet time. I don't even really need block here. I mean, I would like to say play the armor, sure, but. I want to maybe get rid of the burn and the wound. I can get rid of the wound, just have a burn in the deck. If I do double predator now. Well, double dash, that just does save some life, though, let's be honest. But double predator means a really big turn next turn with bullet time. And I can play all my cards, and then I don't take that much damage next turn. And then from there, the Thorns plus the Poison should be enough to win the fight. And we don't, we're not trying to that many block cards though. But we do want to draw a lot of cards next turn because we have a lot of bad stuff coming up. We have 4 Curses, 5 Curses coming up, 6 Curses, 7, 8 Curses coming up. 8 Curses coming up, so Double Predator feels useful. Huh. But then we're gonna, then that means we're taking 14 damage now. And we're also getting Centennial Puzzle Proct. We're actually going to block too much. I think we're actually always going to take Centennial Puzzle here, so we don't need to double Predator because we're always taking Centennial Puzzle to the face. Because we're never full blocking. Since we're never full blocking, Centennial Puzzle is probably just enough. Okay. So then in that case, let's try to block a little bit more. It means Dash is really good for next turn, but we're frail anyways. And I'd probably get more out of doing full work into like one cost cards. So do we want to do purity now? Do we want Centurion Puzzle and Pocket Watch? Purity the wound now. Centurion Puzzle and Pocket Watch draws a full hand. It's pretty good. I probably want purity for next turn though, right? To get rid of the bird and the slime. Uh... Do purity first, then I could do backflip into bullet time. I lose two dexterity off it, but I get. More cards first. It's gonna be the biggest that we're taking all fight. <laughs> Stack the poison. Uh, how much is it worth to play these cards? Like, I want to get that, 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 that out of the deck. Like, remember, his dash is like only what nine block, ten block, even less because of beat of death. Might be worth to do like dancing flash now. I'm going to wait for next turn, I guess. If I do Bouncing Flash next turn with Catalyst, do we have enough poison damage that we all got to survive then? I mean, Liga Remembers to save life seems useful. So right now we're taking 33. But... That should be the most we take all, all game, because Vulnerable and Frail and Weaken are all gone, and we have Footwork out. That should be the most damage we take all game. And I think I'd rather do Liquid Memories on Bounty Flash next turn with Catalyst, so that I can just get more poison damage. Hit Pocket Watch next turn. Is it worth saving that much life right now for Liquid Memories as opposed to... Isn't poison a lot more impactful? It's 16 times. That's another 48 poison I could add with Liquid Memories, Bouncing Flash. I guess I do Bouncing Flash now instead of blocking. 
Because getting that extra bit of Callus damage poison ends the fight a whole turn sooner. So all I gotta do is really block like one big attack. But that's fine. I'm confident I can block one big attack. The Vancey Flash ends the fight a whole turn sooner. Yeah, all the curses out of our deck now. We got most of the curses out of our deck. This is, this is the biggest thing we got to block. So double dash. We can't get weakened. We can get weakened next turn. What's the best way to block this? Double dash survivor. I guess we could try to backflip for bullet time. Doesn't Double Dash Survivor just mainly block the whole thing, and then we just do a uh, whole bunch of neutralize next turn with like backflip? So like for 28, 28. I block for a decent amount, 28 plus 9. 37, I take 10 damage. I think we just win now, right? Is there anything better than that? GG. I feel like the last half of that run was super long. Damn, that last half of run was long as hell. I guess we walked the dogs, but yeah. Not bad. GG. Pandora's box into like Necronomicon. It was an interesting act two. Act two was very interesting. Probably a YouTuber just for act two. Act two was kind of nutty. Just like gambling chip, Pandora's box stuff.